Father Tom here. Maybe we should say Farmer Todd because ever since I was in high school, I've gardened. I've had a vegetable garden. I've had a flower garden. It's just part of who I am. You think about that, the, the, the things that we do that give us life, whether it's gardening or uh, painting or playing an instrument, doing some woodworking, those things give us life. They're part of who we are. They're gifts from God. And when we do them, we connect at our inner being with the person that God made us to be. So let's look at the Rivali Jesuit community garden and talk about an insight into our faith life. In front of me, we put in this year, we've got some strawberries and peppers and lettuce, some onions, and then over here some herbs, basil and um, cilantro and got tomatoes, and potatoes and peas over here. And before those were in, I had spinach and radish. Back there, two months ago, that was a large patch of grass and then a weedy area in the back. And we've transformed that into a a nice quiet place of beauty and contemplation and the birds just love it and butterflies. So how does this connect with our spiritual life? Well maybe there's something that you used to do that really gave you life and you miss it. You know maybe you said the rosary as a family every day or um, you know you read some scripture or you had some sort of ritual, went to adoration first Friday and you miss it. You miss it and think, well, that God planted that desire in you and God is inviting you to kind of reconnect with that. So that might be the first insight about that is, is to, to kind of reflect on what are those things that give you life, whether it's in your spiritual life or out, outside like this and say, I want to reconnect with those. Secondly, if, if you look at the garden and you realize, yeah, there's some junk in the back, there's a compost bin and there's a few weeds, that also is our spiritual life. You know, we want it to be perfect and beautiful, but that's just not going to happen. Not going to happen. And the reason why I have some weeds back there too is that I know that that's where the insects it's a, it's a place of protection for them. So even the weedy patches in our lives uh, can serve a purpose, a, a reminder that, that we're not perfect, that everything's not perfect, or even from the weeds uh, can come good things. I think finally uh, is a recognition too of the connection to the land. We live in an area where we're certainly aware of the forests and streams and the outdoors, and particularly in this year of drought, uh, where when we connect with the land, we, we connect with those who make their living off the land, farmers and ranchers and guides and outfitters, and uh, we recognize that they're going through some really challenging times now. And we offer our prayers for them, and we pray that uh, our government and all the leaders and people can get together and work to uh, help us so that once again, wherever we go, we can see and participate in the beauty of the land. Thank you for listening.